Hey then everyone, welcome to Men's Health Weekender. My name is Zach Jaws, the UK's fittest man. And today I'm working with my very good friends, John and Leon. We're gonna be going through a 15 minute AMRAP. It's gonna be lovely. It's 10 Hamerlees press ups, 20 dumbbell snatches and 30 air squats. I'm gonna be doing a slightly different version for anyone who doesn't have a dumbbell. I'm gonna be doing 10 Hamerlees press ups, 20 shoulder taps and then 30 air squats. All right. I'll let the boys introduce themselves and then we'll get going with the warm up. Yep, sure. What's up, guys? My name's Leon. I'm one half of the Lean Machines. I've just realised that we are wearing, we're all rocking a bit of a plum feel right now, which uh, I'm presuming that's just the colour of, color of January. It wasn't planned, but we're all going with the plum. It's a trio of plums, but it's all good. And I'm going to hand over to um, the, the other part of the Lean Machines, which is JC, who's going to take you for a warm up and also through some of the exercise, exercise options. Uh, two things here. Hi, by the way, I'm John. I love the fact that Leon says we're all plums. Thanks, mate. And I like the fact that Zach says this is going to be lovely. No, no part of this is going to be lovely for us whatsoever. Anyway, I'm going to take you through the warm up. The main thing I want us to get across in this warm up is we've got lots of snatches if you're using a dumbbell and there's lots of kind of knee movements. So I really want to make sure we warm up our ankles, our hips and our knees for the squats. So that's where we're going to start and we're going to keep it super simple. I'm just going to step back so you guys can see me. All I'm going to do is you're going to go as low into a squat as feels comfortable for you. Feet just outside your hips, and we're going to sit down into the squat like there. What we're going to do from here is we're going to push our elbows into our knees and open up and lift our chest up. Just going to spend 10 or so seconds here. Leon, you're doing something completely different to me, buddy, but fine. Oh, sorry. I forgot to up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> only, only like 16 years we've been working together. That's right, mate. We're definitely on the same page. Yeah, From Leon. there, we are going to do what Leon was doing. He's just one step ahead of me. You're going to keep your left arm in against your left knee and you're going to turn to the side with the right, a little bit of rotation, warming up the back. And then we're going to swap to the other side and now we're going to make it a bit more dynamic. Put your fingers under your toes, stand up, we're going to go for the side and lean forward into a little bit of a hamstring stretch. From there, bend at the knees. Again, fingers under the toes, into that low squat. Turn one way, turn the other fingers under the toes, back up, hamstring stretch, back down into the squat. Nice and simple. This is actually probably my favorite warm up for squatting. I don't want to spend too much time stretching when I'm doing strength stuff, um, but I want it to be nice and dynamic. So I'm moving and I'm warming those joints up. Okay, from there, we're going to go in with just 10 air squats, nice and slow to start with. In this workout, we're going to want to speed those up because it's a large portion of the workout. It's 30 reps. So we're just kind of taking it easy, letting all that fluid get around the knees, get some warmth in the legs. We also have some hand release push-ups in this one. So we're going to use a little exercise we call inchworm. So we're going to start push-up position. All I want you to do, walk back to your toes. And then we walk the hands down. This time when we get to the push-up position, we reach in to the opposite toe. We go the opposite way. We reach back the opposite toe. And then we walk back up to the top. We'll do this three more times. Down, push up position, left hand, right toe, right hand, left toe, two more times. It's worth taking time to do the warm ups, guys. Prevents you getting injured, especially in stuff like this. And then one last time, and then we'll get the dumbbell going. And back up to the top. So for those of you who have got a dumbbell, this is what we're going to be doing for a little bit of a warm up here. Basically, we're going to pick a dumbbell up. We are snatching today. So we're going to start quarter swing, halfway, then up the chest. Just going through the rep range, using the hamstrings to do the work. We'll do it three times each side, quarter rep, halfway, a little more explosive with the hips, and then swap sides. For those of you who don't have a dumbbell, you're going to practice some shoulder taps. I just want you to do four reps. All right, so shoulder taps, nice solid core. You're going to touch one shoulder, then the other, that's one rep. Just do four of those. Nice, so for those of you that are back with the dumbbells, we're going to progress up to our snatches now. What we're going to start with is we're going to go one dumbbell deadlift. We want both heads of the dumbbell to touch the floor in between the legs. One dumbbell deadlift, then repeat, add a snatch on top, a little more power. We do it three times, deadlift, down, snatch. One more time this side, deadlift, 
snatch, I'm gonna swap sides. You can swap at the floor, you can swap here, or you can swap there. If you're uncomfortable with a dumbbell, it's new to you, I would swap at the floor each time. Deadlift, snatch, I made a mistake, I didn't go to the floor. Floor, deadlift, floor again. Snatch, one more time. Deadlift to the hips, to the floor, and to the snatch. Something I've always wanted to say, back to you, Zach. <laughs> Right, okay, so it's a 15 minute AMRAP. So 15 minutes is a long time, all right? So you've got to make sure you've got a pacing down for this workout. So let's break it down to the movements, the three movements that there is. 10 hammer leads press-ups. If you can't do press-ups on your toes, by all means drop to your knees. So by that, I mean knees on the floor. You've still got your core nice and tight. Don't let your hips sink to the floor and then into the floor, arm straight, all right? If you can do them on your toes, we're gonna to be doing hand release, which means you come down, hands off, and then press. Again, make sure that core stays nice and tight, keep that body nice and level. Then the 20 dumbbell snatches. This is probably gonna be the hardest portion of the workout. So this is where you're gonna think about, if you're gonna go in broken, you need to go for a steady pace for 20 reps, or if you know you're gonna to need to split these up, then do 10 have a short rest, then 10 again, all right? So 20 dumbbell snatches can get very fatiguing. And then when you get to 30 air squats, that is an exercise where you can recover your heart rate and really control your body and really control that heart rate zone so then when you get back to the start for your next round, you're ready to attack it again, okay? So 15 minute AMRAP, again, you wanna be pacing it well, build into a nice steady pace within the first three or four minutes. Maintain that pace all the way to around 12, 13 minutes. And then the last two minutes, we really want to increase that speed and try and really finish with a strong finish at the end. Okay. Dumbbell weights. I'm not sure if we said that yet. Dumbbell weights that we're using. RX for guys is 22.5 kilos, 15 kilos for girls. But by all means, pick a dumbbell which is suitable for you. If there's a weight that you can do and you can go unbroken with, in my eyes, that would be the weight for you to pick. And that's whatever it is to you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. John and Leon both will go and broken on every single set of twenty dumbbell snatches. So um, yeah, I will. Yeah, they will not be putting the dumbbell down. So choose, you're so mean. <laughs> either <laughs> choose a dumbbell that you know you can go and broken with, and then that's your target for the workout. But by all means, if you really want to push yourself out of your comfort zone and you don't you normally use a twenty two and a half, or you don't normally use a fifteen kilo, by all means use those don't use those weights, but make sure you know what your strategy is before. So if you're going to go 10, have a rest and 10, make sure you know that before the <clears> workout. The worst thing you want to do is get halfway into workout and you're having to, you're having to really force a rest because you're so tired because you push too hard. All right, so get a good rep scheme, know when you're going to take your breaks and try and stick to that throughout the 15 minutes. All right, remember again, you? so if you don't have a dumbbell, you're doing shoulder taps, keep the core nice and tight, one rep is every time your right hand touches your left shoulder. So it'll be one, then two. All right, 20 reps of those. Cool. Zach, will you sing to me on this one? Because we've got no music. Well, I'll sing to you, I'll sing to you. I've got a, an amazing Christmas song. Christmas songs. I don't right. like Christmas songs though, oh. please. <laughs> Tops off. Gosh. <laughs> Two plums and a buff dude. <laughs> Two plums and a buff dude. <laughs> I like it. It's like... Right, is he going to count down, Liam? Yeah, I'll do you boys ready to go, yeah? Yeah. Whenever you are, bud. Cool. Ten seconds. Start with hand release push-up, guys, then the snatch, then the squats. 10, 20, Three. 30, the rep scheme. One, go. Remember, breathe through this dumbbell as much as you can. Yeah. <laughs> 
All the noise is coming out of me already. <laughs> and then the recovery bit, the squats. Yeah, recover on the squats. It is normal for your chest to be lower on air squats than it would be on a barbell squat. So if you've really sparked your heart rate, heart rate on the dumbbell snatch, take these a little bit slower before you go into your next round. Take a long time, these, don't they? <laughs> so for the people who are doing the bodyweight version, the first prep size are very shoulder dominant. So I'm just using this time to relax my shoulders and give them a rest before we go back into the press-ups. If you're wondering why hand release push-ups, it makes it harder. There's no bounce or tension in the muscles. So we did stop. Three and a half minutes in roughly, isn't it, Leon? Yeah. Yeah. You should have found your rhythm now. You should find your pace that you're going to stick to for at least another eight minutes, nine minutes. Is that how you approach like 15 minute workouts, Zach? In competitions? Uh, in all seriousness, no. I normally just go out pretty hard and try and maintain that all the way through. But uh, yeah, for 15 minutes, I start fairly quick for the first five minutes to get ahead of my competition. And then I'll settle in from around five to 12 minutes, where I'll probably uh, drop the pace a little bit. And then for the last three or four minutes, that's when I really start picking it up. Make sure you stand tall at the top. Look out of my squat. Too busy talking. You've lost count? Yeah. Yeah, I always do that. So you might notice, guys, I'm taking a little breath on each snatch at the top. If you lock it out properly, it just gives you a split second. I'm doing the 10 press ups, giving myself around six seconds rest between the shoulder taps, which should allow me to go really quick on the shoulder taps. That's the first way through, guys. So the is <laughs> Leon was off like a rocket. So you should physically feel your heart rate dropping through your air squats. 
If they're not, slow it down. Hey John, what are you doing on a Sunday morning? Yeah, I'm gonna get up and train with the fittest man in the UK for loads of people online. Yeah, said no one ever. <laughs> So guys, you're approaching the halfway point. You should be feeling quite in control right now. You drink, remember to take it every time. I can't count for love nor money. Let's call that 10. <laughs> oh, first little bead of sweat. Back to snatchies. Again, guys, you can swap eye level, you can swap at the floor, whatever feels good for you that you're comfortable to swap. That's 10 minutes, guys. Five to go. Woo! Love a little stuff about her. Try and be strict to yourself. As soon as the dumbbell finishes, into the squats, it'll get your air back a few reps in. I say hopefully.
four minutes. Keep going, guys. Almost there now. Can afford to speed it up a bit now. Good form all the way through. Don't let your form drop. Big in now, guys. Last minute. Last minute. Let's go. Can't get snatches done. Push now, guys. Last eight seconds. into round eight. Nice. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I lost track of how many rounds I did, but I think the same as John. Yeah. Uh, that was I was back out. Should feel mildly uncomfortable from around four minutes in, really, but not get too much worse until the last few minutes. Yeah. So it's just about, as you said, Zach, push a little bit harder to start with. Yeah. To spike your heart rate, but then it comes back towards you a little bit. Yeah. Get into that nice rhythm, right? Yeah. They like to, uh, yeah, don't, don't go out the workout absolutely sprint pace, but go out just a little bit just to, just to get going, to get moving, to get a bit ahead of like a time schedule if you're trying to aim for a certain amount of rounds and then sit into a pace for the remaining of the workout until around 12, 13 minutes and then really go all to the wall and like send it for the last two minutes. Cool, cool. Yeah. So to, be, to be honest, it's not the end of the world if you 
absolutely send it and you crash and burn yeah. because you learn from your mistakes. And the more painful your mistakes are, normally the better you get at pacing. You only have to be fall short of your expectations or really suffer to be like, okay, probably got that one a bit wrong. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the workouts that I do that I really want a good time and I'll, I'll go out super hot and then I'm like, right, I messed that up just because I went out too hot. But then you learn from it and next time you can you can improve on it. So, Cool, cool. Right, guys, so bring it down to the knees. We're going to take our right hand from a all fours position, take the right hand in front of the left, then use the left hand to anchor it. Then we're going to drop that right shoulder back and down across the body. You should feel the stretch into the lats. This is probably my favourite stretch. That got sweaty. Just got uh, out of the time uh, cap where you start getting sweaty. We're going to go with the right hand, right hand on top, and then pull back and down to the left, dropping that shoulder, stretching through the lats. And bring it up onto the knees. We're going to go into an exaggerated lunge position. And from there, just anchor the knee with the outside of the left elbow and just gently turn the torso away. Keeping the back nice and straight. Been doing yoga, Leon. Is that where this one came from? Yeah, got to do something in my spare time. And from that position, back to the center and gently sit into the heel so you shoot through the front leg, hamstring stretch. I am dripping. My living room smells of sweat. <laughs> and Jenny released it off. We're going to switch to the other side. Exaggerate lunge. Elbow the right knee. And then just gently take that chest up and round. Keep the back nice and straight. And from there, back into the heel again. Lean forward and touch the toes if you can. If not, just grip onto the shin wherever your hand lands. And finally, most underrated stretch in the world. Lay down on your front, especially because you want to get your heart rate down at the end of the workout. Take the right arm or left arm out with the shoulder in line and just gently open the body away from it. And then anchor with oh. your inside arm. To stop the body going flat again. Differentiating your shoulder and your bicep after all those pulls. And gently release it off. Final stretch, opposite side. And then open it up. I like this stretch, Leo. I've never done this one. You've never done it? No. It's lovely after dumbbell snatches. It's a Netflix and chill stretch, this one. You do in front of the TV. Yeah. Ah, well, that's it off. Great work. Good stuff. It's a pleasure. Well, everyone, and remember to uh, record your score. So record how many rounds and reps you hit within the time cap. And then you can always use it as a, a tester in a couple of months' time and to see if you've improved your score. So always make sure you record your reps and uh, give you a good target to work towards next time. Sure. Fantastic. Okay. Well, everyone, good work. <laughs>